I'd like to quickly paint a picture of where we were in 2016 when we began these faculty development efforts. When it came to student success, we were facing big challenges at that time. We were seeing very high DFW rates in many of our gateway courses with large gaps uh, by Pell status and by race. We also had very spotty commitment to evidence-based teaching among our faculty, with some embracing it and some not very aware of it or committed to it. We really needed at that time tools that were proven to work. In 2016, we launched what we call the AQ Faculty Development Institute. And the goal of that institute was really to equip faculty with evidence-based teaching practices and also to build a sense of community among our faculty. The consequence of this faculty development initiative was really the beginning of a sea change on campus around teaching and learning. And now one out of every four full-time faculty at the institution are fully credentialed and certified by AQ. From the start of our partnership, we worked closely with AQ to lead high quality, large scale research because we wanted to measure the impact of what we were doing. We found a lot of interesting and, and powerful results. First, we are seeing stronger achievement in our first year gateway courses for students. We are seeing more equity with decreases in our DFW rates being greater for our black first year students than for our white students. We are also seeing sustained improvement over time with the DFW rates being lower in subsequent courses among students who took gateway courses with AQ faculty. We also are seeing an effect of multiple AQ instructors on student success. With the more classes students take with AQ certified faculty, the higher the GPA, the greater the course completion, and the higher the pass rates. And again, the impacts are larger for our students of color. Today, we are here and are thrilled to share our newest research finding. What we have found is that quality teaching is leading to increased retention of students and persistence at the institution. First year student retention among students taught by at least one AQ faculty member in their first semester was 3.7 percentage points higher than by students taught by non-AQ faculty. And 3.7 percentage points higher is a dramatic difference. And for us, what that looks like is about 80 additional students being retained to the second year at the university. And although we're focusing in on a, on a particular population of faculty and students, we can imagine that with so many AQ certified faculty across the campus that there are likely hundreds more students being retained as a result of effective teaching. We're very, very excited about these results and very hopeful of the long-term impact because it's very clear that investing in quality teaching improves student outcomes and leads to greater retention at the institution. Our goals of stronger student achievement, working towards closing equity gaps, are being supported by our investment in effective evidence-based teaching for student success.